So we are here at the Isiolo County headquarters. This project, uh, the initial contract was for 870 million. Now, the Isiolo County headquarters was not a county project. This was a national government project through the Ministry of Public Works, where they decided to build for Isiolo County a headquarters under the Equalization Fund. So the, under the Equalization Fund, the Ministry of Public Works with the national government decided to build a county headquarters for the Isiolo County, costing 870 million. And the contract was signed on the 1st of September 2019. So we are now in 2024. You can see the building has stalled, it's not ongoing, and from headquarters even worse, we've noticed poor workmanship on this building, that it is, it might be a danger to the people of Isiolo, and eventually, if not taken care of, it may collapse, and that collapse may lead to very many deaths. But I may not want to speak into the technical details, and our civil engineer here is going to speak about the technical details. Thank you so much. We are here conglomerating in front of the county headquarters, which was supposed to be completed, but now it's a crime scene. Very few people can do this normal course. You know, but here's the solution. What the details you can see here is building. And this section here right now, this is the expansion of the building. And this is what it does. It means that go straight to the top from the foundation. Whereby, as you can see there, the crack has emanated from the and joined the main concrete, and, and this has emanated due to the consolidation of the building. Consolidation means setting in the building. So by this means, it is really pushing the foundation of this structure. Thereby, at the end of the day, this building might even collapse at one second because it is sinking faster in one area of the foundation, leaving the other area being rigid. And the crack goes all the way. So, this is quite visible, as you can see here. So, very poor one. I think we are. We, 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 we go to the And because of those few remarks, as an engineer who is trained, I want to call this structure an, uh, uh, a structure that we delounce immediately. And by delouncing, we request for demolition with immediate effect. And the people of this country have lost money. And that means we call for a full responsibility for the president of this nation. Yes. Yeah, so the contractor, together with the Ministry of Public Works, which is supposed to supervise this project, uh, this is shoddy work. And this is, this is poor engineering work. And this is poor construction work. For 870 million, we expect a wild standard here. So for it to have a major crack at the center of the building, through the main column that holds the building, is a crime scene. So there needs to be responsibility for this. And to December, some of these projects by this government, they either don't start, if they start, they stall. If they don't stall, they are finished with very poor workmanship and embezzlement of public funds. So we hope that action will be taken and the people who did this will be deregistered by the Engineers Board of Kenya. So that professional organization called the Engineering Board of Kenya to deregister this civil engineer, structural engineer, that did this kind of work together with the contractor. Yeah. I think it's the same problem we have been facing throughout the course of the project where you find government public money is being used, but instead of uh, channels the right uh, project and used in the right manner, people try to use shortcuts and finally we get this kind of poor building which finally don't meet the expectation and yet the money is still on the private accounts to, en by, to enrich selfish politicians which have been enabled by our president to So essentially our message is if the president can take his job seriously, 
and recruit people who are competent into his government, beginning with a minister who actually understands what public works and construction is. Somebody who's competent in that field. Secondly, to root out all corrupt engineers, people who are not going to So you see, the fish rots from the head. If the president is not keen on his job, but is keen on embezzlement of public funds, then the people at the bottom, they joke like this. So otherwise, let's go to the next one.